hello guys uh, welcome to Java tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you that I have developed a Java application a desktop application and I'm I'm going to share you a few things how to develop a beautiful Java application I think plenty of people are a little bit confused or uh, are uh, able to find unable to find a good structure to dis and design a Java application but I'll show you with this design let's start with the login page so I'll just disable this so how did I so you can see how to design this uh, frame without minimize you can see there is no minimize maximize and close buttons here I just show a static frame here and this I'm just displaying demo so I have created some username password and uh, my database is h2 database using h2 database I have developed this application I'll just click on this so this is how our application looks like so here you can see there are plenty of uh, colorful panels here so these are all panels actually you cannot color uh, the J labels with the background colors in uh, Windows Builder or Sphinx AWT, SWT, it may be anything. So I have used uh, panels here and to the left, uh, this is and I have de divided this single frame in say more than five different parts something like the header part and the left side menu part and uh, the mm, redirection buttons part and the tips part in the below you can see one two three four so when I click on this I have different different layer panels here when I click on this I have different different lane panels here and you can see I have used a small round circle here which to display some check alerts here so here you can see there is a zero here a payment checks collection checks watcher checks this is up actually an accounting package software so I have taken around two months to develop this complete application with some good UI look and there are plenty of things you can learn from this here I have used icons and to the right I have used icons and I have described what icons work to be done in the below here so for this you can, you can go with layered pants with card layout you can add as many as panels here so you can see when I click on purchases sales accounts reports tax reports and check alert the same panel the same layered panel is having different different uh, say what uh, panels in it one layered panel is having different, different panels within it using card layout so this is how it works and I have you I have just set one logo here and uh, I'll show you one more thing here and here you can see when I click on this I'm using J dialogs here so that I cannot switch to this frame unless I close this so for this redirections I have used J, uh, J dialog so the enter vendor details fr frame is actually a J dialog frame so using this we can use actually in application development it's better to go with uh, uh, dialog boxes instead of using plenty of frames so this was the logic I have used here and on every click I have used a label here you can see when I click on this and the name to the top is getting changed here now we'll go and talk about one more another thing so people have sometimes to show their Jasper report within the frame in that case I have done like this for example I have some reports so here you can see directly I am showing the purchase in y the Jasper report within the frame so this is how it works so you can see there is a report will be generated here something like this so this is having some other different mechanism if you go and search my all uh, videos you will find this video surely for that 
so don't get worried i have completely i have means i have not shown the the, the application what you're seeing right now i have not created any tutorials of this because it was in a hurry so i didn't have some time to do that so i hope guys it looks beautiful and i'll show you one more amazing thing so you might be a little bit uh, curious that how did i do this so nothing but i just used the circle green image with some specific size here and i have placed a label and i have inserted an image on the label and i have inserted another label to show the um, on this uh, values here which i have made a background with white and the same logic i have used here also and uh, you might be wondering how did i do this uh, background panels look so colorful i have actually these are all this blue green pink and this all colors are actually panels so you can change the panel background color as you like but not the j labels background color so the, in that case i have gone with panels here on over the panels i have gone with different different labels here so i have used j calendar so here the tutorial means my application directly redirects my um, redirects buttons to youtube video on the browser so the backup it directly goes to google drive when i click on this the backups get successful to my google drive account so this was the account this was the mechanism i have done and uh, looks more so i'll be discussing few more things with you guys um, so you can see when i click on this you can see this tips are also getting changed depending upon the menus what i'm clicking here so that makes more easy for the user to read how to use the application so actually i forgot to say one more thing here when i start the application you can see this is actually a j frame without minimize maximize and close button this to achieve this format first you need to set undecorate false for example i have done this for my login page so in the below you can see i have set undecorated true to display my login frame without minimize maximize and those things now we'll discuss a few more things how did i actually work i'm not going to show the complete source code because i don't have so much of time but don't get worried guys i'll be individually discussing about the com uh, i'll be individually discussing the concept whatever you required please comment in the below so what kind of tutorials you required in this application so i'll be creating a video depending on that so i'm just switching to design plane here i'll just show you what i have done now i'm going in a design work so this is this is actually a J-frame. Here you can see. When I click on source, to the top you can see. This is actually J dialog. Okay, no problem. This is actually a J dialog with decorated true, undecorated true. Okay, I have done this. So here you can see this is one panel. In the panel, I have gone with another panel here. So we'll go for the dashboard I have designed. I'll just show you that thing. It looks more amazing. So you people were wondering how did I or you may feel a little bit amazed how did I design this dashboard actually. So I'll just show it. So this is actually a panel. So here you can see I have gone with first uh, by default you will be having a content pane which is which is a place where you can add late panels or panels or all other different components so in the content pane i have added a description panel which you can see button description panel so this is having number of panels in that here so you can see when i click on this you can see my buttons are getting changed so i have added this number of panels on the in within the 
late panel so this is actually a late panel here you can see java dot swing dot late panel so there is another menu bar panel on the top you can see and there is another left panel and this is a tips panel below and button tips and next something like that now we'll discuss uh, what would this my dash dashboard panels contains actually so you just if you want to know how did i design this green color logo here when you click on this you can see one is actually a label here and behind that i have used another label so these both are labels and on the label i have used a image here so when i click on source i have added a circle dot png image here okay in that way you can add the image in that way you can add a image okay so the same thing i have done here also you can see this is the image and there is another small label here so on the desk dashboard uh, when you go for a dashboard you can see this all uh, within the dashboard there are plenty of other panels here from the example like this is one panel and this is labels okay to display my values but this is again panel you can see here panel 31 panel sorry this is label but the background is actually a panel so you can see here something like this this all are panels with j labels in it this is a j label i have added an image on it and something like this right now <coughs> The same scenario works here also. These are all labels actually. So I have added few more images on it. Now we'll discuss how to display Jasper report within the panel in this. So I'll just go for a report related panel here. I'll just click on payment reports example. So I'll just click on this. So when you click on view all, sorry, this is not actually working. I'll go with some other report. So stop report total. So this actually works. So the previous panel was actually the not using panel. So when I click on key press, I have written a query here. So here I'm passing a common print function which is actually my print query this is uh, i have written by myself so i'm just passing something url name date one day two jasper report to work with my jasper actually so this is how i load my jasper report but in the beginning you can see you have a jp which is which returns jasper fill manager dot fill report jasper report parameters and connections so this JR Jasper print contains all this report design parameters and connections. So we need to just pass this Jasper report in JR viewer to dis to display them in the panel. For example, like you can see, I have created a preview panel. In the preview panel, by the, I have written remove all. In the preview panel, preview panel is nothing but this is my preview panel here. So in this preview panel. I have removed all I have set a layout to new border layout and for preview panel I have gone with a new JR viewer and I have passed the JP value here and preview panel dot repaint and revalidate with this case you can run the application with something like this so something like this okay. it actually comes something like this so you can see the J the Jasper is shown within the panel here within the frame or maybe panel here. So this is how it works. So I think you got some good things from out of your mind. And uh, the amazing things are more amazing things you can see here. So what I'm why I'm just showing this tutorial is that if you have any questions or what kind of tutorial required. Uh, so I may feel 
more comfort to create tutorials depending upon the questions so this is actually my commercial way commercial application which i am ready which i am ready to get in the market and sell it to the customer something like it's a kind of pos application so thank you guys then if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask regarding this application actually i can help you guys how to work but i'm sorry i cannot share this uh, content uh, as this is a little bit more commercial way of application designing but i can discuss you the thoughts how to develop this application actually so thank you guys thank you very much and don't forget to subscribe because you're going to have more beautiful applications and in the coming tutorials i'm going to work on android applications too so it looks more beautiful when you have a good learning skills with some good expert designers so i have more than 2 years of working 2 years of working experience in developing desktop applications like this so thank you guys thank you very much